It's now time for you to learn the procedures of shutting down your aircraft after your flight. What you'll do is you'll bring, bring your aircraft to complete and full stop by applying the tow brakes. While holding the tow brakes, you'll go ahead and engage your park brake. Once the park brake is set, you'll go over to your RPM gauge and throttle and we'll set the aircraft onto 1000 RPM. Once 1000 RPM has been set, you'll check all your instruments and confirm oil and temperature pressures are in the green. From here, we'll start turning off all our avionic equipment. So radios go off, transponder in the off position and follow along with all the electrics going off. From here we'll move to the magnetos. This is the most important point of this lesson. The aim here is to turn the magnetos into the off position, confirm the aircraft engine is cutting out and then put it back onto both. Reason why we're doing this, if you are climbing out of your aircraft and need to push it back into the hangar you will have to handle the propeller now if the aircraft engine doesn't cut out that means if you are going to handle the propeller there might be a tendency for it to start so in that case call a mechanic to come and check it out and do not touch the propeller so easy a way of doing this is go left right off wait for the cut out back onto right left both and then doing that way you will also never engage the starter from here you can then proceed to your mixture reduce your mixture to idle cutoff once the engine has cut out throttle all the way reduce to idle cutoff keys out of the ignition you can then put the keys on the dashboard so if you have ground crew this is confirmation for them that the keys is indeed out and go ahead and switch those masters off and last followed by switching your fuel selector off and that's how you shut down your aircraft from a flight i'll see you for that next lesson